All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Resident Evil 3. My name is Raven from the Sky, and let's continue. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. All right. Let's get this expected. done. Right into that door. <laughs> Got a face full of that door. Where's the vaccine? The pursuer. Now we're even deeper underground. Look at this. Double tap. Oh my god, of course it is. S2. Like I said, we can't possibly still be at the hospital. The objectives of this T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main NES facility. Here we focus on real-world use ca cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry, weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it's imperative that all employees adhere to the workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary action me measures. It is great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Do we have any more high grade gunpowder? We just got regular. Oh, shotgun shells. Lovely.
surprised no handgun ammo is like laying right there. Not laying right there, excuse me. Let me go down this one. Up, oh, double tap. Isaac Graves Diary. The pay was generous. The benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be able, I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research for a university teacher. Stuck working in nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity. Like winning the lottery, so I went for it. I made the pitch to my family, and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020. Because this lab is a den of monsters, who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and I'm eating chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job, do as I'm told, for their sake. But let this be a testament that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. Plus high grade gunpowder equals ah. Magnum rounds. Have a freaking magnum, man. Well, let me dump this real quick. Efficiently synthesized to most efficiently synthesize vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are acquired. Antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to the increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. Begin vaccine synthesis. Place the materials in the chamber. Huh. Synthesis? You gotta find them first. I have to make it myself. <sighs> All right, I gotta figure this out.
thing. Where are they? Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override key removed. Override key, huh? down to the first floor. Okay. Sound like it was right on me. That's why I was running around. <sighs> Shipping route CDG, JFKRC. All transit within the United States is to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing. A shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self-activation. We're here at European Branch. I'm excited to hear you be, hear your thoughts and evaluation of this newest prototype. Now, please offer this specimen. Oh, it has been numerous trials and incredible destructive power. So please exercise extreme caution when using it. That was in the bags. A herb. This must be what powers it.
Wow. Who got these are tyrants. The tyrant. Yeah. Jesus. Is this where they're made? Ooh, that was close. <sighs> Please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research, introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it. How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of this shift away from the established umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous precedent. Uh, all right, a precedent, whatever. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on earth with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like what's it, Plasmodium are far more genetically compact than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the Forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I should be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you foisted on us. Ah, sincerely, Nathaniel Bard. So Dr. it's Bard. called the Nemesis. Yep. to increase immune system response. Need one more. Just want to make sure we got it.
Ага. So I swap the ammo. Actually, you know what? That's exactly why I swapped the ammo. I knew it was gonna do that stupid mess. I'm gonna bust right out with this. I would like to formally request that the weapon we normally reserve for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weapon reauthorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation, granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. Ah, that's those naked zombies we have been appearing with regularly but a specific cause has not yet been determined blah, blah, blah. because of high power weaponry we've just been dispensing of them with headshots Not really high power Alright guys, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. Ring that bell so you don't miss an upload.